Hey Dave, hey Louie, my name is Michael and I live in El Paso, Texas. If you didn't know, El Paso, Texas is right on the border of Mexico and the United States. Now I'm like a five minute drive from Juarez, which is our sister city in Mexico. A couple years ago, it was the most dangerous city in the world. So we've had our fair share of issues here. However, the issue I wanna bring up is poverty. Many people in my community and across the world don't know that people are living in third world conditions here in the United States of America. Along the Mexico border, there are over half a million people living in semi-rural subdivisions known as colonias, where they uh, lack proper infrastructure and public works. I'm talking about uh, access to water. They don't have water in their houses. Many don't have even electricity. Many of them don't have uh, sewage. Uh, a lot of them don't have roads. They don't have access to uh, emergency medical care or emergency vehicle transportation. This is a huge issue that a lot of people don't know about. And essentially people are living in third world conditions. Unfortunately, the people living in these rural settlements are disproportionately minorities. So Hispanics, Mexican Americans, women, children. And because they live in such deplorable conditions, there's a lot of health issues in these areas. It's a huge issue, particularly in El Paso County. There are over 350 colonia settlements in El Paso County alone and I wanna bring awareness to this issue. I'm inspired by Jacob Reese, who wrote the book, How the Other Half Lives, nearly a century ago. He used the new technology of photographing to bring awareness to this issue of uh, poverty in New York City at the time in the tenement populations where immigrants lived. I wanna do something similar, but I, instead I wanna use a video documentary to bring awareness to this issue. Now, I am a master's student at the University of Texas, El Paso, and I'm planning on incorporating this documentary into my thesis project as a master's student. I hope to bring both awareness to this issue and in the documentary to provide possible solutions from people living in the colonias, from uh, lawmakers, uh, city planners, um, grassroots and nonprofit uh, people helping these people, um, sellers of the land, and scholars on the subject. However, guys, I need your help. I have to pay for translators to translate. I have to pay for people to transcribe this from Spanish into English. I have to find a way to score this documentary. Um, and I'm also lacking in just equipment, um, DSLR equipment, portable lighting equipment, because a lot of people there don't have electricity to do the interviews in the Colonias. The conservative number I've come up with is $5,000, five grand. It'll go a long way to helping me pay for translators It'll be a huge relief to be able to know that I can get these people's words in the documentary and that I'll be able to figure out what they need, what they want, where they're coming from. I am an academic and I do know how to do ethnographic research with human participants. Um, I'm going to go through all the proper channels to make sure that we don't uh, discriminate or disadvantage anyone through this. But essentially, I want to do a phenomenological qualitative research method study uh, through a documentary to help us bring awareness to this issue and to find possible solutions for this issue by talking with the people who have experienced the colonias in El Paso County. And I just wanna thank you guys for the Salvi Project and taking a look at my video and considering it. Thanks guys.